Well, the, the, the truth as I see it is that that used to be the strategy uh, when it used to work. Uh, the premise is that people started their search at Google. That was definitely true in 2010. Uh, I think it was true probably up until, well, I mean, people still start their search on Google now, maybe. But uh, in the past couple of years after the pandemic, I think a lot of that's changed, right? Uh, the example I like to use is that recently we were looking for uh, project management software. And if you started your search for that in Google, you go and type in project management software vendors. And I get the first organic result is top 55 project management software vendors. That's not helpful to me at all. That's it's too like many. A, it's, it's like a yellow pages. Yeah, it's like a yellow pages and, and it's not, I, I don't think people are trusting the information that's up there because we've had a lot of good search engine optimizers that have optimized mediocre content. It's just not really that helpful. And then well, we can talk yeah. about the content peak, which, you know, there's just a lot of stuff out there to compete with. So in short, you know, if you're basing your marketing strategy on SEO today, it's a well, you're probably big mountain. You're probably disappointed, actually. You know, uh, I, here's what my here's what my thinking is. And, and again, we've we've been involved in social media from its inception, and um, and we've done a lot of testing. And we're, this is just isn't just hey, off the top of my head, here's what I think. Um, I think that the way that they originate their buying process. Um, is different. They're like they're likely to call somebody, to call around, get referrals, get recommendations. Then they will go online and start searching. But they're not searching on the things that you think. And in order to understand what they are searching on, it takes a bit of work and research, which people aren't willing to do. In fact, the industry might, you know, SEO people. I love it when they're like, "Oh, we do our customer research." What they're talking about is keyword research. Okay, just because there's X number of searches on a term a month isn't the same as what's going through the head of the person looking for project management software at the very beginning right and and that could vary i mean it, you, you i can't spout off what that is because i haven't done the research either in that specific area but you know they may be looking for certain kinds of features that they know are must-haves right i mean it, it there's a there's a a list of things you could theoretically optimize on those things, but then the content equation comes in. You have to have robust content that's written for human beings. Well, and I still think have keywords in it. I think, uh, you know, if what you say is true, and I think it is true, because we tell the truth here. I try to, yeah, I try to tell the truth. <laughs> that's um, by the time, by the time they're searching in Google, it's too late. For you, I, I yes, for this, for, you know, if, if you're a salesperson, yes, and also, you know, they may. I mean, think about it. Okay, that's a software. Let's say it's a professional services firm, like a marketing firm. Uh, they might have they might have gone through 10, 12 websites by the time they get to you, and so they're just. Well, look, they, I they mean, know like more from a, than you that's think. a that's a good example because, like, as a marketing agency. I'm not in an industry that you don't understand what I do. There's not a lot of education, right? So what term am I going to optimize to catch you when you're in the middle of a buying decision? I guess like if I was super niche based, like, you know, we work, you know, we're a demand gen agency for SaaS that are incorporating AI and want to uh, differentiate themselves from the crowd. Maybe that long tail keyword would work. <laughs> I think there's a value equation that has to be looked at. You know, I mean, if you have unlimited money for your marketing budget, two things. First, call me. And second, do SEO. <laughs> what do I care? Right. Uh, but I think there's a value problem with it. it. It seems to me, if I were making recommendations, that it, it would be one of the more inefficient way to reach a B2B buyer. That's just what I think and what I've found. 
and maybe some SEO people could chime in in the comments and tell us we're idiots, but. I, well, in a, and I think we should say that it's still important to try to maximize keywords and long tail keyword phrases, especially if they help identify some buyer intent. I just wouldn't make it the centerpiece of your strategy. Well, and if you go to an SEO firm, that's often what will happen. And there's a they, you if can you let expend, them drive the strategy. If you let them drive yeah. it, you can, they can expend an enormous amount of energy um, and billable hours. Uh, because S, that's the other thing I think is very misunderstood about SEO in general is don't have expectations of anything fast happening. Um, it really is a very long tail. And well, that should be the mantra for marketing in general, right? You know, if you don't have enough <laughs> money to do the, the hard hitting things that drive demand, you shouldn't even be thinking about SEO. I mean, that's the way I look at it. If you have that uh, level of budget where you can do that, it, is it, you know, to me, it's hard to do a little bit of SEO, you know? Right, like, and be effective, yeah. And be effective, right. And so, like, you know, I think that maybe the answer is the truth is it's not completely wrong, uh, but it's very inefficient. Um, now, there is I this think the strategy needs to change there a little bit in terms of, you know, we got to stop looking for the immediate lead or the form fill. Tell 